Hi guys, welcome back to Beaver 3D Printing. Um, my Triality HI is down. I'm waiting. It's Victoria Day here in Canada, so it's holiday. I don't know what's going on in China, and I'm waiting for them to get back to me. They told me to take the whole everything. Uh, shit, what a mistake buying that machine. Anyway. So one of my friends came up to me and asked me if I could make an urn for his pet that died. So his cat. <clears throat> Sorry about my cat. My cat is in heat right now. <laughs> and she's getting fixed in two weeks. So try to ignore her meowing. So anyways, uh, I came up with this. I did a lot of... I uh, printed this out using AI and... And I came up with this this thing here, this urn, and uh, this is the problem I got with this one was to see, you could see the, I don't know, uh, there you go, you see you got the seam here. And uh, this was just to test it out in the seam here, and uh, I, this bothers me. So... Um, and decided I had to go back into the slicer and uh, um, work on the try to find out the way to get rid of the seams so if any of you guys are having problems with the seams on round objects or whatnot um, here's the way I've been doing it to fix this issue um, I don't know if you guys can see my screen uh, it's going to be kind of hard to do this, but anyways. So I don't know if I could, I can't zoom in, so it, bear with me. Okay. So back, I'm in Bamboo uh, Studio. And here is the top of that vase, that urn thing. And it's a screw fit. It's it's like a cap, and it just fits the screw. It fits in like a screw, anyways. So what you need to do is you have to go into the right panel over here. Hopefully, you can see this, and click on quality. And you're gonna see here. It's gonna be a whole bunch of things here, but mine's already checked off. And it says seams and see where it says seams here i hope you guys could see that so i tried that out you know i said okay i'm going to try to see what it looks like so i sliced it using nearest and this is for those who don't know i didn't know about this myself until you know it's like i said you got to learn the slicer and stuff like that and this one would have taken two hours and 57 minutes. You can see down here. So this is what um, nearest would look like. And I noticed there's going to be a lot of, um, I don't know what you want to call these speckles here, but they're too tight. They're too close to each other. So that would have made this thing when it was printed, you would have seen this see here you can see there's a line not a line but like pixels I don't know here you can see there's like these pixels here this would have created like an offset line these two together would have made a, a small line so you would have probably had all these little divots inside on on this on this on this on this uh, cap so then he says, okay, well, we're going to try the other one. So we'll go back down here and we're going to go to a line. So I says, okay, let me see what a line is going to look like. So I sliced it. And a line would take, whoop, sorry, would take two hours, 59 minutes. And you can see there, again, this is the the real setting this is how it's set automatically set and this scene 
would be right down. This is no good, you know. And when I mean, well, I'll show you after. So I decided, well, no, this is not going to happen. So again, well, we're going to continue. So I decided to go down to back. And I realized, well, if I slice this, I know the line is going to be in the back of the plate. So the plate would look like this. You know that these two things go behind. They go in the back. And this is the front of your plate. This here is the front. And this is the back of the plate. You know, this is on a bamboo mini. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I decided to slice it anyways, just to see. And this one takes one, two hours, 58 minutes. And as you can see, the line, the seam line is hitting in the back, but it's still there. Uh, unacceptable again. So I decided, no, let's keep trying. And the last option I had was random. So I decided, well, let's check it out. This is the last one. So I sliced it. And uh, this one takes three hours, four minutes. And I noticed the pixels are not as tight. They're not grouped. They're scattered. So you see they're scattered. There's no pixels. Well, let's just call them pixels. They're not together. together. They're scattered. They're not like one touching another. They're all scattered. So then I decided, well, this is this is would be interesting to test and see what would happen. And coming back to me here, excuse me. So what would happen was um, I decided to print that out, and uh, I got. Uh, uh, I'm trying to find the the, the my. My original one. Okay. So this is what I was talking about when we were looking at the other one. You see, you could see here. Well, you could see it there. Excuse my fingers, guys. But you could see here that there's a seam here. You see that? There's a seam there. And that was that's not acceptable. So um sorry for my fingers, guys. I'm a nervous character. I'm always chewing my fingers. And so um, I started to work. I said, okay, I'm going to uh, do it again. And uh, I figured out, oh, had to use because he asked me for to make this urn with uh, the rainbow filament. And this is. Um, this is what I came up with there, like that, you see? So, you can see the little things I was telling you about, the little spots there. Did you see that? I don't know if you can see them. You see that up top there? See the way they're scattered? So, that it's, it's better than seeing a seam, okay? A lot better than seeing a seam. So, I'll... I, I'll take that as a, okay. You know, I mean, you're really seeing it up close now. I mean, it's not really looking like it. I mean, when I look at it from the eye, um, from a distance, it doesn't look as traffic -y as as what you're looking at there, you know. And so at the end, when I finished this, my friend's urn, anyways, it came up looking like that. And this is using Solval um, rainbow color. And like I said, you can't really, I don't know if I can see, you can't really see the, the, the spec lines. You see, you see them there? You can't, but it, you, you really have to focus it in there to be able to see it. But this is acceptable. And this is what this iron looks like. And so I decided I put his paw print on there with a heart. His name is Boots. And uh, it's completely hollow on the inside. It's infilled. This is done with uh, um, five step 
meaning it turns around five times. Um, if I look uh, my strength, uh, my wall loop is five. Uh, top sur top surface um, pattern is uh, what is it called? The monotonic is the top, and um, my top shelf layer was five, and um, top shelf thickness is 0.6. Didn't change it, and top paint penetration layer was five. Didn't change it. What was important is down here again, is the bottom surface pattern was monotonic again and the bottom shell layer was five. So that makes this thing thick. And my sparse infill density is 20% and not 15%. So again, this is why it makes it thick and heavy. It makes it feel good, you know. I mean, I think you could put water in here and it wouldn't leak. And uh, I use the, uh, uh, my pattern, my infill pattern is gyro. You know, I, I don't like using pattern. I, I, I find patterns too aggressive and they shouldn't even have that. So I use gyro. And like I said, this is um, this is what it, it looks like. You know, boots. A little resting place for boots. So, and with the cap on, it looks like this. And it's going to be obviously uh, glued down in place and it'll never be able to open this up again. And that's the way it's going to be. And you'll be able to have his friend with him all the time. You know. So. I find it was, it's a, it was a nice project, you know. I mean, it also was like learning put the imprint in here, the paw print using an SVG in boots also was an SVG using bamboo, um, print, uh, uh, bamboo, um, uh, bamboo studio, which I like it a lot because you could do a lot with it. If you start understanding what this, the slicer could do, you really could do a lot with it. Um, importing SVG, importing it in a negative way so that you could get imprint. You know, this is a negative. That's why it's dented in. Uh, and this is the proper way of doing it. it. The other way, you know, you don't want to cut corners. And, I mean, there's ways of cutting corners and stuff. But I decided to go the right way. I watched a video. I talked to, with my AI thing there. And uh, how can I do it like this and stuff like that. And this is, at the end, this is, the whole vase came out. When we designed the vase, this this top, and after that, putting this in there, and the boots, you know, they, they, they showed it to my friend and really liked it a lot. You know, so, you know, it's just like I said, it's just learning the um, software and it's trying things out, you know, like, like I said, when I tried this one at the beginning, you know, it's it came out nice. You know, I mean, it's this is thick. Look at that. It's really thick. You know, but it's the seam just like freaked me out. It's like, well, no, no, we can't do that. Can't send the seam out like that. And you know, I can't give him that with a seam. You know, it's like no way am I gonna give him something with a seam. You know, see that. There you go. Can't do that. So no, no scene. So I don't even know what I did with the top of this one. Where's the top? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I showed it to you guys. Yeah, you can see in the top, like you see the top there, and you know. the seam and even trying to say even trying to put the seam taking the seam and like that setting that we saw that you could put the seam in the back of the plate while the back of your model uh, it's it's just having that seam you know I, know I didn't want that so 
this guy, after all the work and I mean, figuring out and stuff like that, this, this came out really, really cool. Really, really nice. Really nice. So, it's a short video. I just wanted to, those of you who, who have, uh, who don't know about the, the thing about the seam, I didn't know about it. And then uh, questions and stuff, and then having to go into the um, slicer bamboo studio. You know, you, you learn more and more as you go. So I encourage you guys to do that. You know, don't give up, man. Don't, don't, don't give up. Just keep going and you'll see, you, you'll start learning the software. Gradually, it's going to grow on you. You know, I, I prefer this software compared to Creality and, and anything else that I've used so far. Pusha, Cura. I haven't got a chance to use uh, Orca because my my laptop's not compatible with Orca, but I know Orca is is top limit. It's not li um, it's 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 a very good program, and uh, I know and well. Anyways, for me, Bamboo Studio is my way to go, and it it it's it it has what it's what it needs to what you need to do to slice a model. Or to modify a model that it has has the capability of of, of doing all that. So, like I said, uh, you know, just keep learning the studio thing, Bamboo Studio, and then uh, you'll see it grow on you. And then after that, things will just become more and more easy and natural. And that's what I've been noticing lately. It's like, oh yeah, I could go. I have to let me go check out this here and all this stuff. Learn the the software, and you'll see. It becomes easy. So anyways, guys, this is all I had for you guys. I just wanted to show you about seams and how maybe to get rid of them. I mean, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Uh, if you guys got some comments, leave them below. Let me know. And, uh, you know, I'll reply back to them. But, you know, that's, that's what I came up with. So anyways, uh, please like, share, subscribe. It helps grow the channel. Um, thank you to my followers. Uh, I got 26 followers. Thank you very much for following. Uh, I mean, you know, if you're following, I guess I got your attention. So I, I thank you very much. So um, I don't know, the next video, we'll see what else I'll come up with and uh, I'll share it with you. So take care and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.